My name is Jason Stone. Uh, many of you know me from the training that we put together here uh, for the Encore Grant Training Initiative. I'd like to welcome you to our placement chair. Uh, we have represented uh, here with us today uh, placement representatives from all four of the metro area community colleges. We're also graced with the presence of Assistant Vice Chancellor for Economic and Workforce Development, uh, uh, Connie Lake. Uh, Connie is going to join us here in just a few minutes and say some words about economic development and uh, about the important niche that uh, some of you uh, will hopefully fill uh, as developmental studies instructors here in the metro area. So that's uh, an outline of our program this afternoon. We will be afforded an opportunity to interact with hiring managers uh, from those community colleges. You will be presented with a certificate of before we move forward, though, uh, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to express my heartfelt gratitude. To express my heartfelt and sincere thanks uh, for what I've learned from each of you. Uh, many of you have a wealth of experience uh, that you're going to bring with you to the classroom. Uh, some of that is, is experience that you had formally as instructors. Uh, some of that is experiences that you bring from other fields into the higher education here. And uh, I just wanted to thank all of you for uh, your hard work, your diligence, for the anecdotes that you shared in your writings, and uh, for everything that you taught me uh, in the course of, of facilitating your instruction uh, here in these two cohorts. So please give yourselves a round of applause. I would also uh, like to pass on uh, some very heartfelt congratulations uh, from both Andrea and Nicole. Uh, Nicole uh, was not able to join us today from OSU Stillwater uh, because of some transportation difficulties, and uh, Andrea had a meeting that was uh, already previously scheduled, so uh, they were not able to join us. But uh, both of them uh, emailed me within the last 48 hours and expressed that they were so proud of uh, how far many of you have come in terms of your use of technology your ability uh, to facilitate uh, instruction for adult learners. So they, uh, they communicate their, their thanks. Uh, I now would like to take the opportunity to welcome uh, Ms. Connie Lake. Connie Lake is the Assistant uh, Vice Chancellor for Workforce and Economic Development for the Oklahoma State Regents. Uh, Andrea, my wife, used to work for the State Regents, and uh, her title uh, was almost as long, uh, but not quite. <laughs> Uh, and uh, that's sort of a running joke uh, if you're familiar with their organization about how long their titles and, and contact information and stuff like that are uh, around the state regions. Uh, so if you would, uh, please provide a warm welcome uh, to Connie. She's going to say a few words about workforce and economic development. reduced 
number of hours again, but not impacting the employee's pension. I'd like to uh, commend OSU OKC uh, for creating this program and identifying and having the vision uh, to reach out to this population, those of you in the room, to create and grow the post-secondary teacher workforce. The reason being is there, the projection by the Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, shows that a demand of uh, post-secondary teachers in the year 2018 is an additional 257,000 post-secondary teachers. In Oklahoma, uh, our educational services section, which is a little broader than just post-secondary uh, teachers, shows a, a projected demand uh, to be the largest employment demand for our state uh, to meet over 162,000 employees by again 2018. Another sector, the training and development specialist, ranks seventh in the fastest growing occupations in Oklahoma. So again, this demonstrates the need to reach out to the baby boomer population who do choose to retire and, and, and gear them toward a, a second career. So as some of the population that are eligible to retire but choose to uh, continue to work, they stay that because according to the AARP, a study that was on staying ahead of the curve, people continue to work because they need the money. They need their supporting of the children, of their grandchildren, or an elderly parent, uh, or they enjoy working and giving back to society. So it helps them feel uh, useful. And other reasons they stay in the workforce is to uh, continue to save for retirement and also to uh, have the health, health insurance, as I mentioned earlier, as well as to pay for the health care costs. So regardless of why you all have chosen to be a part of this program, I want to share and say <coughs> congratulations for your successful, excuse me, successful completion of this program and that you find an intellectual stimulating
responsible uh, for developmental studies hires, and uh, she uh, comes to us, uh, as I said, from Redlands, and uh, she's the person to talk to about opportunities uh, there. Uh, seated to her immediate right uh, is Tamara Carter at uh, O-Tri-C. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Tamara Carter at, at, at O-Tri-C. And uh, is, that, is it correct that you are a representative of Human Resources there? No, I'm the Director of the Mathematics Department. The Director of the Mathematics Department here uh, joining us today from O-Tri-C. So those of you who have uh, backgrounds in uh, math or science, uh, Tamara is definitely the person to talk to uh, with regards to, to O-Tri-C. So, uh, a number of you uh, are, are here uh, today and uh, have, have decided uh, to attend today, uh, primarily, I think, uh, for the networking opportunity, but maybe secondarily uh, for the uh, certificate of, of achievement. And uh, I am happy uh, to present those to all of you today. Uh, the uh, certificate uh, is signed uh, by myself. It's also signed by the Associate Division Head uh, for Arts and Sciences uh, here at OSU OKC, and uh, that's uh, Mr. Garrett Jones. Uh, several of you did uh, email back and indicate that you would or would not be attending. Uh, I tried to call the ones uh, that I got a response back uh, who said that they would not be attending and tried to get those out of there, but uh, I think I have significantly more certificates here than we have uh, folks in attendance. So uh, there may be a, a couple of uh, opportunities there where no one comes up to get a certificate and we'll just put those to the side and uh, those folks uh, will have their certificate mailed to them next week. Susan Broadbent. <laughs> Please feel free to applaud. Yeah. Daryl Sinclair. Yeah. Cicely McCauley.
Gail Jackson.